That is right. This is the Galactic Coast Power Hour, and we are coming to you live from the ACU of Texas studio on the top floor of the historic Gemini building next door to the home of, home of manned space flight. My name is John Ennis. I'm joined by my brother and brew, Muddy Mike Taylor. Yo, yo. And our sister and brew, Sylvia Benvenides. Hello, guys. And tonight we gather together to answer the age old question who or what is man's best friend, the dog? Or the beer. <laughs> Not really sure that's an age-old question, but it sounded good 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Both. But uh, joining us to we, answer we, we, that. We split, the, split the hairs on that one. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> joining us to answer that and many more questions is the team responsible for bringing Fetching Lab Brewery to market. And that could only be Brett Bray and Teresa Hutchings from Fetching Lab out of Alvin, Texas. Hey, thanks for coming to the show. Hi, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Yeah, happy Welcome to be here. Guys. So I noticed uh, neither Clyde or Dale are joining us. Um, actually, we uh, had a little lull in the Clyde, Clyde sightings, but uh, in the last week or so, we've had lots of them coming out, so he's, he's back. Awesome. Okay, I was, I was worried. Uh, for, for those who uh, aren't as familiar with uh, his uh, <laughs> his uh, once uh, prolific uh, social media presence, uh, do you want to introduce the uh, listening audience to, uh, uh, we, to, we, to Clyde? And <laughs> yeah, we, we kind of, uh, like, see, um, Bella, our CEO, is our little yellow lab. Uh, the head of marketing is Oberon. He's our little black lab. Uh, Ranger, our Sheltie, is the um, uh, security guard for the whole place. And Clyde, the little uh, uh, tree frog. We just had these tree frogs uh, all over the place. Uh, he's, he's our head of operations, and he keeps the place running very well. So, Geez, so the dog stuck around forever. Mm-hmm. You know, and they got to do all the back break. He just pops in for a little photo shoot every now and then. <laughs> well, when he's famous, you know, he's, he's very, very, he's a diva, you know. <laughs> And he became pretty famous, man. He was pretty prolific there on social media for a while. Yeah, I was, I was kind of having fun with him. <laughs> well, we, we would find him in the weirdest places. And, and uh, you know, just when you're out in the country, you're just going to have tree frogs, right? And so... Um, we you know, have the same thing with really weird looking spiders. <laughs> oh, all right. We'll stick, your, we'll stick with the frogs. We'll stick with the frogs. You keep your frogs. Yeah. 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 Far I, less I, photogenic I, than the, the, the fly. We need the frogs I, to eat the yeah. spiders. I will tell you that when you go to move a bucket and two tree frogs slap against your leg and it's dark outside and stuff, you, you will actually squeal like a little girl. It, it, it happens, you know. <laughs> Believe it. The and then I light. laugh and laugh. <laughs> it was just Clyde. Well, so you mentioned that you're kind of out. You're out a little bit in the country. Uh, for for the listeners who aren't familiar, uh, do you want to kind of describe the setting of? Uh, it's actually one of the more unique brewery settings, I would argue, probably in, definitely in the region, if not the state of Texas. Right. Yeah. So we're we're out in Alvin, Texas. Um, well, a little bit outside of Alvin, Texas. It's actually technically, I think, Algoa. And so we're really, really hard to find. If you want to come out to the brewery, we're usually open um, Saturdays one to five, but weather dependent. Um, it, Use your GPS, and uh, when your GPS stops, you just keep going <laughs> at, the end, <laughs> at the end of the dirt road, right? So, yeah, you, you, you think you're, you know, in a movie scene, and, and it, get, it gets a little bit uh, questionable on whether or not you're going to ever get there. But you will. You will. The the road will open up, and there will be the brewery. We the actually, reward. Yeah, the, the beer ward. <laughs> And, uh, you know, we actually live on site next to the brewery. So it's kind of a neat thing. And we and we figured, you know, what would a lab do, right? Labs invite you into their lives, into their homes. And so as, as a brewery, we invite you to, you know, it's where we live. It's where we work. It's where we do what we enjoy doing. So we, we have you come out. It's very park-like. We have several acres. And uh, you can bring your dogs, you... Your, your family, your friends. We have some people who we're probably one of the only horse friendly breweries <laughs> in in Houston. Now, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know it's of any kind other. Of, uh, <clears throat> a good good clip on a horse from Houston, probably, huh? Just a little bit. So yeah. if you're like if so you're like living, if you're living yeah, in the yeah. downtown yeah. area and you're in a high rise, <laughs> yeah. probably probably don't take your horse. Yeah. But how probably many breweries not. can you hit by bareback? Right, I mean, none, right. none, none that I can think of. Well, well if you, you can know. fit your horse in an Uber, maybe you can make it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I think there's request. a lot. I have a horse. Is that a problem? <laughs> <laughs> I actually think there's a law in Texas about um, traveling with your horse in your back seat or something. There's like with those weird laws yeah. that you you read they about. Get the like, Shetland pony from? and they throw it in the back seat. Get, get your fact checker on that one. I want to know what that law says. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be in a trailer. <laughs> right. Exactly. 
Yeah, but no, we actually have a, a, a crew of folks who will, they do this six mile trail ride and they show up with their horses, oh, tie them awesome. off, cool. and drink cool. a couple beers. And I mean, they bring that their own cool. designated yeah, yeah. We'll driver. Take their right? the designated drivers, you know. So. <laughs> right. I mean, get on the horse, point it in the right direction, and it takes you home. Yeah. You know? I was wondering how that worked if somebody, you know, not obviously it wouldn't happen at your place, but you know, if someone it's, went elsewhere. It's or, not a motor vehicle. It's not a motor vehicle. It's a PI, right? A PI. And, yeah, I guess yeah. it'd be PI. Yeah. Yeah. Public intoxication because you're I know not a driving. Guy with a with a horse, he lives in uh, Pearland, and he rides his to a to a. There's a little bar right there. Mm-hmm. He, I used to work with him, Jose. He was, and he would, I'd, he'd ride his horse because there was this big open field, like a uh, uh, what do you call it, an easement. Yeah. And he would ride along the easement, and then <laughs> you know, r- cross the road on yeah. his horse. You know, it's it's shooting. Yeah. And, Can you imagine never had to throw it and, 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 and tie it and tie it up on the outside? I'm like, you're kidding me. And he goes, Nah, man. I said, You can't right. get a DWI like that. He goes. Nah, man, you ain't driving nothing. You're on, <laughs> you're on an animal. You're not driving, you're riding. You're riding. Well, maybe, like, the, maybe the horse is drunk. Maybe. Yeah. Right, you know? <laughs> he goes, as long as you don't fall off, man, they ain't following you anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, it was very fortuitous that uh, last time we opened up, we had the, the three horses come out, and we had just uh, got ready. We were putting out a brand new beer, uh, County Road Kolsch. And we actually took one of the ladies Ooh. on her horse, and I took a couple hundred photos of her, uh, particular uh, for the logo. So we're going to kind of try to develop a logo with the the horse walking down the county road, you know, past the uh, nice. the sign Excellent. that says yeah. "County Road Maintenance Ends Here." It's 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 kind of a cool little picture. Yeah. So a logo based in reality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Yep. All right. Let's get technical for a little bit. All right. So started as a home brewer, correct? That is correct. Got uh, the bug. In 2000, yep. Got the bug, right? Mm-hmm. You're itching, you're scratching, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> Who or what was the one thing that made you think, I can do this? Ooh, um, <clears throat> it turns out Teresa and I have the exact same birthday. And we no. always, and we have the, uh, mm-hmm. well, sorry, we, we are 10 years apart, but the day is the same. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we're, we would always have big combined birthday parties and it expanded out to like Super Bowl parties, endless summer parties. Did you brew beer for these I was parties? Brewing parties for each and every one of these things. And people kept saying, this beer is so good. You've got to you put this in the market. You should open a brewery. Yeah. And yeah. this is before we had the big uh, explosion. At the time, uh, Texas Crap was, beer like was way down. dead yeah. last per capita yeah. for yeah. The, I think there was like the, six, 17 breweries 19, in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. And so being bad at metaphors, we put our money where their mouth was and we went ahead to open a brewery <laughs> so economically for you know someone who has a nine to five job and is trying to save for retirement opening a brewery is a pretty ludicrous freaking idea it really is it's a yeah, pretty right, crazy yeah. idea the return on investment is so you have to so you have to find ways to do things you have to be you know ingenious you have to find ways to do things and uh probably the one thing that impressed me the most when i came out to your place is you found a way to make those wine tanks ferment beer Yes, that is correct. Uh, we do uh, use and your, wine And your yeah. bang for the buck mm-hmm. on those is just absolutely incredible. So you had a, a jacket that you had put on the outside of those things, right? Uh, the, there's already a jacket around there. That's just a Oh, they were jacketed yeah, tanks that you had got. Yeah. Uh, and the variable, the variable depth, the variable which lid. you just keep it at the top, I'm sure, right? Yeah, we keep it at the top. Yeah. Uh, Trees actually found that, that, that insulation that's on the outside of there is actually the stuff they put underneath flooring. Uh, so when you're like in a, a trailer and you put it in flooring. Substrate. It's in the, the substrate uh, moisture. Yeah. Oh, nice. Hardwood yeah. floors. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get clever. So, uh, and, and that just prevents um, the, 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 the condensation. So we don't And the mold from setting in. And the mold from setting in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so, the, that's yeah. the big thing is yeah. the mold yeah. for me. And, and wipe it down. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Psh, mm-hmm. Spray it off. So that allows you to get pretty technical with some of these beers, correct? Correct. All right. So how about your Kolsch? So. What about it? <laughs> temperature wise, so what? you've got a profile, right? A temperature uh, profile on this thing? Yeah, yeah. We uh, we keep uh, most of our beers because we use we use a common yeast on most of our beers, um, the, and we keep ours usually at sixty seven degrees, and it's usually six or seventy plus plus or minus one degree. So we do uh, keep it tight. Uh, we have one beer, the um, uh, Fetcher in the Rye, where we actually raise the temperature on it because we want to stress that yeast out, kick off some of the um, esters to provide a little extra flavor to it. Is the same yeast, but in a different recipe, so it's acting a yep. little different. Yeah, yeah. at a different you've, temperature. You've noticed, you've noticed a difference, and you had to. Yeah, we we had been working on it. It was brought to us by a home brewer friend of ours. We're like, right, oh, right. this is a great beer, and we were on like, you know, normally you give me three batches, and I could pretty much reproduce anything. You know, right, right. this one we we'd been trying and trying, we couldn't do it, and it finally. Oh, is that one yeah. thing? That yeah. one yeah. thing, yeah. man. Yeah. That one, one thing detail, we couldn't right. get, yep. and yeah. after like. 
batch ten. That we is like that's the coolest let's stuff try they're this, trying to find. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And and so Bam, we we stress the yeast a little bit by raising the temperature. You know, it's still within its 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 good zone, but it's on the high end. And uh, and all of a sudden, all those really nice kind of fruity, almost apricot-y kind of flavors right, started right, coming right. out. And we're yeah, like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what it. it's been Boom. missing, yeah. right? Boom, yeah. we got the, the, it. The key was we finally thought, you know, hell, he's a home brewer. He can't control his temperature very well. More than likely, it's on the high end. We raised it up to it. And boom. boom. There, there, there it was. And yeah. so, man, every temperature is different with every recipe, man. It's crazy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, just exactly how far is your house from the brewery? If um, we were to take... A statue of measurement would it be? If she feet? laid down, if she laid down and reached her arm out, she could she could touch both. Controls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's. Uh, let me see. We I tried to we tried to fit a trailer through the gate and it wouldn't fit. So that is so <laughs> awesome. It's like, one wheel. I was thinking it was. I was actually thinking it was three fingers. Right? No, no, <laughs> <a little> <laughs> but you can't even get that, huh? Yeah, no, it's about it's about seven and a half feet, maybe eight. Yeah. TABC like. says you can't have your brewery attached to right, the house. Right, so right. that's one of the things when we purchased it, it had to be away from it. Um, and, and, you know, we, neither Teresa and I, have ever run a brewery before up until now. So having it right there at the house, we're learning our lessons. Oh, we're, for sure. We're, we're already starting to make plans for, sure, for, for sure. you know enlarging and stuff like this. Yeah. But we're learning those lessons instead of spending lots and lots of money. Um, when we actually do get a larger brewery. And you're, we'll you're doing before. seven barrels Seven barrel batches, right? Yeah. Legit right. seven barrel right. batches nice. going in. Yeah. So whenever you're and, doing it, you're doing it big. And having it close to us, actually, it's it's got an added benefit. You know, you're there late. You're hungry. You don't have to go and and you know get something to <laughs> yeah. eat. Come back. All that. I used to time. just eat beer. The commute is awesome. <laughs> there you go. Just eat beer. Which can't be know. a problem. <laughs> and not recommended. Right. <laughs> no problem. No. And and eating beer is not good. <laughs> It allows us to be really super paranoid about things. If there's a if there's a uh, um, a power outage, we can go. You know immediately, assume, too, we know yeah. immediately. We know True. we know we can check and make sure everything came back up. You know, so if if we're worried about a batch, we can we can be really hypersensitive about them, and 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 pay pay closer attention because we when we go home at night, we're going ten feet, so. At one in the morning, if I wake up and I'm like, "Man, I need to check that beer," right? I can go across and I've and actually woken up and made that drive. See, right? Yeah. 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 That drive. <laughs> and that drive exactly. is Absolutely. not fun, right? right? Yeah. yeah. No, it's not fun yeah. because so, your your eyes are this wide. <laughs> yeah, you're like. Ooh. So you're just in the you know in your pajamas just walking around the brew house and stuff. Yeah, sure right. are, it's been a time or two. <laughs> I get up, I get up, go to work. I'm going up, going to work at four in the morning and stuff. So I'll, I'll walk around, check all the temperatures, check every, all the flow. And as a matter of fact, the first thing you do when you, before you walk in there and you get to like make like ten steps to reach the light switch, um, you're hearing, you're listening. Oh, oh as yeah, as long as you're yeah. hearing those absolutely. Right. Those absolutely. Amen, yeah. If you walk yeah. in there and it's silent, you're like, oh no, <laughs> what no. is going on? <laughs> what's, yeah. what's funny is we used to have a we'd be having conversations <laughs> yeah, in the Open thing, valve. and my eyes would be like, like <laughs> some, I'd hear some, some, some yeah. boom, and I'm yeah. gone. Right. I'm, I'm out. He's yeah, like, what happened? Oh, man, it was, I had to fix it, dude. Yeah. The old uh, unattended yeah. uh, open valve. You that, know, I've never heard that sound before. Oh, no, 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 never, never. That sounds like water. How many times <laughs> yeah, have you yeah. done that? Liquid yeah. hitting. That sounds somebody, like liquid hitting the floor. The yeah. Of, uh, yeah. 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 Pivot yeah. sprint. And yeah. I don't think I have anything on. <laughs> the one that scares me the most is not the sound of like water hitting the floor or sound, you know, of, of fluid. It's the lack of... Of the, the sound, so like silence, the, which yeah. means silence. your glycol machine's not running. Exactly, your, uh, you know your water's not replenishing or whatever. Some, yeah, yeah. Of the idea. something that there's a pump's always not running. An, an yeah. underlying sound of the glycol. It sounds like kids. And so when it's pretty much like kids, yeah. then yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right, too quiet. Right, yeah. Some, some yeah. suspicious. Yeah. What is yep. she doing? Yep. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So can we talk about beer for a little bit? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I, right. want, I actually love, love, love oh, two psh. beers from Fetching Lab. These are my absolute favorite. It's the uh, Amber, obviously. Team Amber. Team Amber. Team Amber. Yes. Right. And uh, the Blueberry Cream Ale. Can we talk about that and how that's special than a lot of the other Blueberry Cream Ales or any other blueberry-flavored beers on the market right now? It's kind of unique. I think it's unique, right? 
I didn't, is, I didn't even is. know there's a lot of other ones. I mean, cause that's been well, one that's kind of like you know a, a beer that's kind of unique in my mind to it, y'all. Yeah, it's okay. one of our trademark ones, mm-hmm. but there were a number of other ones that came out right around the same time we did ours. Okay. Yeah. Um, but and then there's there you know there's some some fruit beers that are have always kind of been out. You know, you've got like the blueberry the sea dog, right? right. That's your exactly. that's your blueberry. Yeah, the, like the line purple, of kugels. Sweet, you know, yeah, they, they so, go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. you know, there's there's other blueberry beers out there, but um, yeah. ours. In fact, we brought it today. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. 